Last week we expected Dow Jones to remain bullish when we said that yes, if it trades beyond this zone at 31,200, possibly we may see a very strong rise and see. We had expected though 32,400 to be a good resistance, but it went beyond and what an extreme bullishness has been seen towards the end of the week and taking it till towards 33,000. Now what to expect next week? Whether we can see a retrace, whether we can see a drop from here or it is going to continue with this bullish momentum, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. Missing on to subscribe, this channel is missing on the profits as also you will miss on the daily updates on Dow Jones, which I share in fact twice a day, one with the Asia session, next with the US cash session. So do like, share, subscribe and comment, do press the bell icon. Also in this analysis, first we'll look into the chart followed with indicators towards the end. I'll give you the trading levels and strategy for next week. Now see. On the weekly charts, you'll find in just last two weeks itself, US 30 has recovered almost 15% and that is an extreme recovery in just two weeks which we had seen in recent times. It has almost recovered for last 8 to 10 weeks. Complete losses have been recovered here. It's still trying to trade bullish. Now see here, it has shown a flat closing previous week and now also it is closed at the high. It indicates that it may try to attempt or it may try to achieve further highs and then the retracement may follow. Yes, Fed interest rate hike decision could be uh, the trigger for it to drop. And hence, for first two days, possibly it may still show you a little bullishness. 33,500, 600 zone certainly is going to be the next strongest destination from where the retracement could follow. Now, why this zone? Now, look at the highs here. See at this levels, I told you that it is going to reverse and that time also I told you that the highs are done and possibly it is looking forward to a reversal and likewise it may follow the same suit, it may follow the footsteps what it is for, what it is seen earlier. Also as we had seen many a times in our analysis, US 30 is trading in this channel in this weekly charts and yes the highs of this channel is also precisely at around 33,500-600 zone. There is a possibility that it can try to show you similar candle achieving the highs at 33,400, uh, and similar levels. Certainly, these are going to be an extreme resistance zone and achieving those levels, possibly it can retrace. That is one observation which it may try to do. Second, yes, it can try to open flat and continue to trade bearish. That is the second observation. But yes, certainly bearishness can probably creep in. Uh, the stronger option is may it, it may try to achieve the highs and then for, look forward to a drop later in the week with the Fed's interest rate decision. And hence you have to remain cautious and be careful there. Also we had seen it is trading in this bearish channel. Any move beyond 34,000 will be a confirmation that it is trying to reverse and trying to reverse with the strong momentum. Also another option to look at. See this time it has breached this zone. This was the prediction when it was trading here at 35,000. I had predicted this for 30,000 levels. This time it is breached below and hence yes there is a further probability for it to cover the grounds on the downside. Still there is a lot much downside here to be covered. Let's see how far it takes before it tries to cover this. Now look at the daily charts. On the daily charts it has formed the bottom here drop, retracement drop and then this retracement and the sharper rise and that is what the Retracement till 33,000. In fact, the last candle is you can see a very strong bear, bullish candle achieving almost 1100 points in a single day. And now, probability exists that it may try to attempt and achieve the highs. The resistance there, here you can see this zone is going to be a good resistance zone, probably achieving 31,500. And then we can follow, we can expect it to drop from there. So, again, on the daily charts, also it is confirmed that yes, there could be a possibility of a reversal from these zones. But looking at the sharp recovery, looking at the double bottom here, it appears probably that there are going to be resistance here on the upside. Now look at the monthly. Now on the monthly charts, look at the size of the candle. 20% rise from 28,500 zone to 33,000 levels. Almost 20% rise. This is the longest and strongest candle, strongest bullish candle which we have seen in the you can say recent history. Yes. 20% rise was there, more than 20% rise was there, but the base was low and the candle size is uh, not as strong as what we had seen. But this is the strongest bullish candle which we have seen in the history here. And hence you have to remain cautious, there could be a pullback possibility that it may try to close at highs. And then closing at highs, the next candle may open flat and take it downwards. There could be a possibility at the same time, there is one trading session left for this month. And yes, there could be a pullback also which may try to trigger it further down, which may try to take it a little down and can 
शो यूर पुल बैक टिल टू वर्स थर्टी टू फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड जोन क्लोजिंग द मंथ थर्टी टू फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड वील सी हाउ इट बिहेव दे आर पॉसिबली एंड देन यू विल सी हाउ इट बिहेव प्रोबेबली इट मे ट्राई टू लुक बैक डाउन ऑन द डाउन साइड लुक बैक अगेन ऑन द डाउन ऑन द मंथली चार्ज टू थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड अपियर्स टू बी अ वेरी गुड रेजिस्टेंस सो वी एव सीन द चार्ज यर लेट्स एव लुक एट द इंडिकेटर्स इंडिकेटर्स ऑन द डेली चार्ज यू एस थर्टी ट्रेडिंग आउटसाइड द बोलिंग बैंड देर कुड बी अ पुल बैक विच कैन बी सीन हियर द विथ ऑफ द बोलिंग बैंड इज वाइडनिंग हियर एट द सेम टाइम वन मस्ट नॉट फॉर गेट दे इज अ क्रॉस ओवर देर इज अ बुलिश क्रॉस ओवर बिटवीन द ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टी पीरियड मूविंग एवरेज पॉसिबली इंडिकेटिंग दैट वी मे सी द बुलिश मोमेंटम टू सस्टेन बुलिश मोमेंटम टू कंटिन्यू हाउ एवर वी नीड टू वेट इन वॉच फॉर अ लिटिल वाइल एट द सेम टाइम द हंड्रेड पीरियड मूविंग एवरेज इज ऑलमोस्ट ट्रेडिंग फ्लैट एट अराउंड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड लेवल्स नाउ दिस वीक इज गोइंग टू बी क्रूशियल If it crosses over sustains widens then certainly bullishness can continue in US 30 and hence it may breach the channel I'll wait for the next monthly candle for uh, November where it may try to take it at highs 33500 33000 34000 levels can be seen and possible retracement reversal from those levels cannot be denied Now look at the direction movement extremely divergent extremely bullish here stock elastic as extreme overbought levels the MACD is extremely divergent and extremely bullish it has seen the highest probability of a conversion from here exists RSI entering into overbought levels but yes if it can sustain oversold levels it can also sustain overbought levels for a little while and hence you have to wait and watch for a little now look at the weekly charts here on the weekly charts this is the 50 and 100 period moving average crossover and this is a slight bearish crossover you can say at the same time on the downside the support there from the 20 period moving average is far below at 31500 levels there is a bullish crossover here on the directional movement on the weekly charts stock elastic taking is directly on the upside and making it overbought direct in just couple of candles it has got it to extremes but remember the faster the rise the faster the drop always remember this fact the sharper the rise the sharper the drop and vice versa the sharper the drop the sharper the reversal hence you have to stay cautious it has covered almost 15 to 15% in two weeks and almost 20 to 25% in last four weeks you have to stay cautious here it has come back to an overbought levels on the weekly charts there is a possibility of it to reverse like what we saw here now see how it is behaved achieving the highs again it has seen a good drop likewise it has achieved the highest possibility of a reversal exist here the macd look at the macd now almost all uh, even the macd the charts have failed here to you, know, you can see extreme reversal extreme crossover in a single candle here you have to also be cautious because still it is trying to lag and possibly this is a vertical candle and hence yes it can continue in red from here the single candle indicates not a reversal but yes uh, an abruptness in the charts and it it may try to correct it correct its movement and hence a drop can be expected rsi looking upwards here indicating little bullishness now look at the monthly charts here on the monthly charts trading below the 20 period moving average situated at around 34000 levels very strong resistance there directional movement is still bearish trying to converge a stock elastic which is at bottom mostly on the monthly candle closing possibly it may try to cover a bit it may try to complete till here and then possibility of a reversal exists the macd uh, you can see how strongly it is converted to a flat greener candle and possibility that yes it can reverse i will wait for it to yes definitely it has seen the extreme bearishness here possibility that it can try to converge a little exists and i will wait for this monthly candle to close and i'll see how at what levels this uh, uh, macd will be positioned if it continues to remain divergent possibility of it to continue for the bearishness is existing there now rsi reversing here i'll wait for the next candle and now we have seen the charts and indicators time for us to define the strategy and time for us to ex- define the expectation and the levels by trading at those levels which we can profit next week first let's talk about the levels to buy in fact if you see it at 32 33 050 itself you can buy there and expect it to rise a little 33 176 the next destination then 33 253 and then 33 421 and 33 515 now remember the zone may provide very strong resistance here for us 30 it may try to attempt and achieve 
One cannot deny that it cannot achieve. It can achieve these levels. It can achieve, in fact, thirty three six hundred. So this these levels are going to be a very important resistance zone for US thirty achieving these levels in next possibly couple of days. Taking the charts to extreme, possibly we may see a reversal with the Fed interest rate hike this year midweek, and then it will continue to resume the downtrend. So you have to remain cautious here in this zone below beyond this thirty three six hundred. Certainly, we can look forward to thirty four thousand levels, and then it may fly high. Beyond that, beyond thirty four thousand, it is going to remain bullish, and the all time highs cannot be denied in near future. I don't expect it to happen, but yes, these are markets. Anything and everything is possible. Right now, it does not appear that it may turn bullish any point of time. Yes, it is trying to retrace a little till towards the highs of the channel, and then from there the drop can be expected. Now see on the downside. Yes, you can sell there at thirty two nine hundred. Expect thirty two seven hundred ten, thirty two six hundred. Very important support exists at thirty two six hundred, breaking below which directly it will try to land at thirty two five hundred and thirty two four hundred. Now thirty two four hundred is a major milestone. If it draws below thirty two four hundred, you can remain bearish, and we can expect it to draw further. We can expect that it is. It might try to take it below thirty two thousand levels also again, and it may erase the gains which it has seen last week. It has seen a stronger rise last week, and then below thirty two thousand five hundred, it is directly thirty one thousand six hundred, thirty one thousand four hundred zone. It can erase the gains completely in just one single candle. So yes, if it can rise in a single candle, it can also drop equally sharply in a single candle. And hence, you have to remain cautious. You have to remain cautious on the upside at thirty three thousand five hundred six hundred zone. There is a possibility that it may achieve this, and then from there the drop can resume. Hence, remain cautious. Trade with the trailing stop loss. Trade with the strict stop loss. These are going to be wild volatile weeks. Specifically, Dow Jones is trading extremely volatile, and hence only. Shifting your stop loss to cost will only help you out in this. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you can join my 16th mentorship batch starting on 7th of November. The strategy start will definitely help you become a profitable and proficient trader. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my Signals group. Look at last four weeks alone, the the Dow Jones has moved only. You can say. Uh, in combine, it has moved on almost two thousand plus plus point, but almost not two thousand, but four thousand plus plus point. And see what we have gathered: almost three to four thousand points we have captured by buying and selling in a day-to-day -day basis. And not only Dow Jones, Nasdaq, Gold, Silver, we have accumulated thousands of points and pips in just four weeks. You can be part of my signals channel, and definitely you can profit. To reach out to me for more details, Telegram and email ID are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week. Thank you.